Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how to make a homopolar motor. Uh, this is essentially based, this is a, is a, a more simpler motor than the, the alternator using a car for example, which I've made in another video. And it's based, it's based on the uh, cross product of the uh, magnetic field, F is equal to QV cross B. So anyway, if you'd like to know how, how that works, you should see my video in regard to the, the magnetic field or how an alternator works. So, what we have here is a neodymium magnet or three smaller neodymium magnets put together needs to be reasonably strong so put them on, put them down I have a small AAA battery what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the positive side onto my neodymium magnet next I have a piece of wire and what I've done is I've coiled it so I've wound it sorry so that it'll wind around my battery at the end I have, we'll say, a circular part. Now, you want the circular part large enough so that it will go around the magnet, but that it will not physically touch the magnet. It will, of course, during the rotation touch the magnet, but otherwise it won't. Okay, so you don't want it too, you don't want it too big, you don't want it too small. And the tip is, the tip here, just touches on the negative side of my battery. So, if I just connect this on like this, You can see I'm converting poten or chemical potential energy in my battery to kinetic energy in the wire. And essentially how this works is, without going into too much detail, what you can look up in a, in a, pre in a previous video is that as the current flows from the, ooh, the negative end of your battery to the positive end through the wire, it experiences a force due to the, the magnetic field caused by the magnet. It is the force, the direction of the force is described by the cross product, or the left hand rule, or the right hand rule as you look, depending on which one you want. And that basically causes the wire to turn. And that is how you make a homopolar motor.